The people at home know that this parliament will keep delaying, it will keep sabotaging the negotiations because they don't want a deal. Mr Speaker, the truth is that members opposite are living in a fantasy world. They really imagine, they really imagine this government intends to present a programme for life after Brexit. But some members of this House could not stand that either. Instead of facing the voters, the opposition turned tail. The Supreme Court was asked to intervene in this process for the first time ever, and it is absolutely no disrespect to the judiciary to say I think the court was wrong to pronounce on what is essentially a political question at a time. So if in fact the party opposite does not have confidence in the government, they will have a chance to prove it. They have until the House rises. Let them li- listen, 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 li- listen, listen, listen. I think they should listen to this, Mr. Speaker. They have until the House rises today to table a motion of no confidence in the government. Come on, come on. I thank the Prime Minister for an advanced copy of his statement. Unfortunately, it was like his illegal shutting down of Parliament. Null, of no effect, and should be quashed. This, Mr Speaker, was ten minutes of bluster from a dangerous Prime Minister who thinks he is above the law. But in truth, Mr Speaker, in truth, Mr Speaker, is not fit for the office which he holds. He says he wants a general election. I want a general election. It's very simple. If you want an election, if he wants an election, get an extension and let's have an election.